What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's Oss. Let's get productive. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite companies. I love what they do in the synth atmosphere. The name of the company is Karani Sounds, and they have developed their very own VST dedicated to the lo-fi community. The name of this VST is Lo-Fi Keys. Now, I'm really excited about this, actually, because like I said, I love their synths, and their synths always have a very analog, vintage, retro kind of feel to it. It sounds very authentic, and they always have really cool effects. So for them to combine a lot of their really cool effects into a brand new VST that's dedicated to a lo-fi vintage feel, I was excited to hear what that sounds like and I was not disappointed. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Karani Sounds, Lo-Fi Keys, let's see what this thing is all about. So as always, I have Logic queued up and this is Lo-Fi Keys, one of my favorite VSTs at the moment. I love what it does to pianos and the sound that it gives pianos, a real vintage feel. Part of the reason for that is all of the sounds inside of this thing was sampled through analog gear. So a lot of actual tape players saturated the sound in this thing and gave you some really vintage sound and keys along with some really dope effects and you can get a really dope lo-fi piano. So if we take a look at the UI design, fire. But Karani Sounds always does really clean, really fire UI designs. Very clean, definitely very vintage. A lot of their UI designs has kind of like an 80s retro kind of feel to it, but it's really clean. I love how clean and minimal this UI is. Now, if we zoom in a little bit closer, we're gonna go through some of the things that are happening inside of this VST. Now, this thing comes with two sound engines. So if you look right up here, you'll see it says Voyager. And if you look right here, it says Lo-Fi Piano. These are the two sound engines and you can click them and you can go through the different sound. There's a bunch of different sounds here for you in each category. So you can kind of really design your own sounds and come up with your own thing. If you don't wanna do that, you have your presets menu right up here at the top and you have everything from bass to synths to pads and to keys. Right underneath the two sound engines, you have your modulations and you can get a real VHS modulation sound, you have cassette sounds, you have a vinyl sound, and you can just play around with that. Right over here, you have your shaper section, and that's pretty much where your ADSR is, your attack, your decay, your sustain, and your release. And you have your little speaker grill down here. Like I said, I like the UI design. I like how that looks. Over here is where things get really cool. Now, like I said, a little while ago, I reviewed their Poly Space Reverb, and that's a standalone plugin. So for them to include that inside of Lo-Fi Keys, I thought was really dope because it's a really dope sounding plugin. Like the reverb is a reverb that I use on a lot of beats and a lot of different sounds inside of my beats. So to have that available inside of this plugin is really dope. They also have the Vapor Dimension plugin, which is kind of like a chorus effect, another really dope plugin to get you the sound you're going for. And you have Saturation. This is the Technicolor Saturation Bit Crusher slash Exciter, and it is exactly what it says it is. It's an exciter. It's gonna really brighten that sound up with a little bit of distortion and really just push some of those sounds forward in the mix. Right down here, you have your random controls. So sound, dimension, technicolor, poly space. You can randomize all those things individually, or you can hit this button right here where it says surprise and just randomize everything. Karani Sounds is really well known for their AI and the randomization department. They do some really dope things in that category. Over here, you have your effects dry and wet knobs so you can blend between the effects. And that's pretty much it. Really simple, really straightforward. I love how simple the design is. I love how simple it is to use it. But where this thing really shines is in the sound department. So what I want to do right now is I want to go through some of the presets and just let you hear how these things sound. When I'm playing instruments that are keys, I like to play them as chords so you can hear what they sound like together. And I'll play them as chords and then I'll play them as individual instruments as well. So we're gonna just go through some of the presets in this thing. So we'll start off with this keys fading memory sound. Super, 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 super dope. Super dope sounding. 
and we'll just play the keys individually. And like I said, you can play around with the different effects here. So you have a cassette effect, you can go to vinyl. Play around with the vinyl. You can change one of the sounds in the sound engine to something completely different. Let's go over to DX. Then you can turn down some of the polyspace effect. We can go over to City Light. We can also change the octave of the sound. So if we wanted to go up an octave, we can just click on these circles right here go up an octave. We can go down two octaves. Let's pick another random preset here, Lo-Fi Whirly. Add some vinyl to this if you wanted to. Really dope stuff. Every single one of these effects has have their own individual input and output settings, so you can really adjust how much of the sound you're introducing to these effects individually. You can hit the randomization. This is really dope. And that just came from me hitting random. I like how that sounds, so I'm actually gonna save that as a preset. We're gonna call this, we're gonna call this Ars. Hold on. Ars Dream. Save that. And now that's saved as a preset in the presets. Let's try some bass. I'm gonna turn the key, the chords off for this one. That bass is fire. Dope. There's a raspiness to all of the bass here, so it will work very good in lo-fi, but it will also work good if you're trying to do a retro synth kind of a beat, like something that you could use like for a Bruno Mars type track or something. There's a lot of really dope synth, raspy, harsh, sharp sounding bass, and I love that. It sounds really, really cool. So. That was just a few of the sounds inside of this thing. Really, really cool stuff. Now, what I wanna do right now is I wanna get right into the pickup. I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna show you guys a beat I made using lo-fi keys. Now, honestly, it's not really a lo-fi sounding beat that I made, but that's good. I wanted to show you guys that you can make all kinds of beats. I made kind of a futuristic sounding R&B type beat, um, but you can make all kinds of different beats with this thing. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the cookup. Let's see this beat that I made using lo-fi keys. Let's check it out.
And that's it. That's the beat I made using lo-fi keys. Now, I do want to say all of the sounds in that beat you just heard were made using lo-fi keys. I forgot to preface that earlier, but all of the sounds you heard in that beat I just played were made using lo-fi keys, with the exception of the bass. The bass was the only thing that was, you know, outsourced to another VST, but lo-fi keys took up all of the keys you heard in there, all of the pads, all of the melody, everything lo-fi keys. So I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this thing. I always enjoy Karani sound synths and, uh, their attention to detail in the sound design department. Uh, but this is something that's really different, I think, for the company. They went in a different direction than they usually go as far as synths and all of that stuff. I think they applied a lot of what they learned from making vintage sounding synths and the effects that they have in those things. And they created something really unique in the lo-fi department and I love it. I love how it makes my beats sound. So let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you think you're gonna be adding to your arsenal? Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know any new plugins or VSTs that you'd like to see me review on this channel. As always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can stay notified anytime I drop a new video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.